and decades of work have gone into monitoring axial seamount, which itself is known to inflate with magma before erupting. This new discovery exposes an alarming oversight. There is no data from this volcano. No seismic network, no pressure sensors, no long-term temperature readings. It is a complete geological blind spot, a black box on one of the most volatile fault systems on Earth. This changes everything we know about the Cascadia subduction zone. Scientists are now racing to understand what this means for the future. A heating magma system so close to a locked megathrust fault could dramatically alter stress conditions deep beneath the seafloor. Here's why this matters. The Cascadia subduction zone marks the boundary where the Juan de Fuca plate is diving beneath the North American plate. Over centuries, immense pressure builds up as the plates grind together. When that pressure releases, the result is a megaquake, an event that can last for several minutes, generate tsunamis, and reshape coastlines. Now imagine introducing a live, heating volcano directly above that same fault. The thermal and pressure changes from an active magma chamber could weaken the overlying crust, making it easier for the megathrust to rupture. It could also alter local fluid pressures within the fault zone, potentially lubricating the interface and bringing forward the timing of a catastrophic slip. In simple terms, a heating volcano on the Cascadia margin may not just be a passive feature. It could influence the timing, size, and character of the next Great Cascadia earthquake. And that's what makes this discovery so deeply concerning. But amid the danger, researchers also found something extraordinary and hauntingly beautiful. The slopes of this newly discovered volcano are teeming with life. In the gentle glow of the submersible's lights, scientists saw the seafloor blanketed with countless golden spheres shimmering in the dark waters. Millions upon millions of them. They were later confirmed to be the eggs of the Pacific White Skate, a rare ghostly relative of the shark that lives only in the deepest, coldest waters of the Pacific. This volcano, long hidden and unknown, is serving as a natural incubator, its geothermal heat providing a rare refuge of warmth in the icy abyss, allowing these delicate creatures to reproduce in a place where life is normally impossible. This discovery of the golden nursery provides living proof that the volcano is not dormant, it is actively releasing heat, enough to sustain an entire ecosystem. That heat source can only come from one place. Magma moving beneath the crust. So, what does this mean for the region's seismic future? Right now, scientists are cautious. The data is limited. No one can yet say whether this volcano is entering a new phase of activity or has been quietly venting for centuries. But what's clear is that this is no longer an unknown seamount. It is an active geological system in one of the most seismically sensitive places on Earth. And the monitoring, as of today, starts from zero. A newly discovered volcano, 3,600 feet tall, alive and venting heat, sitting just offshore from one of Earth's most dangerous fault lines with absolutely no instrumentation to track its movements. That is the definition of an urgent scientific mystery. This revelation fundamentally rewrites our understanding of the Pacific Northwest's deep geology. For decades, it was believed every major hazard along the Cascadia subduction zone was being watched, measured, and modeled. But now, an entirely new piece has been added to the board, one that no one even knew existed until now. Could this new volcano hold the key to understanding the timing of the next Cascadia megaquake? Or could it be the silent trigger waiting in the dark depths of the Pacific? Only time and further research will tell. For now, one thing is clear. The Pacific Northwest's geological story has taken a sudden, and dramatic turn. This is a developing story.
for continuing coverage of Earth's hidden forces and updates on this unprecedented discovery, subscribe to Geology Watch and stay alert as we bring you the latest findings from beneath our planet's restless oceans. A breaking discovery from the Pacific Northwest has stunned the scientific community and introduced a profound new threat to North America's most dangerous fault line. For decades, millions of people living along the Cascadia subduction zone, stretching from Vancouver Island down through Oregon to Northern California, have been warned about the big one, a potential magnitude 9.0 earthquake capable of devastating the entire region. An army of geologists, seismologists, and volcanologists have spent years monitoring every known hazard along this volatile plate boundary. Instruments constantly watch Mount St. Helens, Mount Rainier, and Axial Seamount, the most active underwater volcano in the Northeast Pacific. But as it turns out, not everything was being watched. Today, scientists have confirmed the discovery of a new, massive, and active volcano hiding in plain sight just off the coast of Vancouver Island. And this is not a small underwater mound. This is a colossal structure standing over 1,100 meters tall, more than 3,600 feet, making it taller than the world's highest skyscrapers. Yet until now, no one knew it even existed. It has no name, no eruption history, and perhaps most concerning of all, no monitoring systems. This newly found submarine volcano is completely unmonitored, and early signs suggest it is still geothermally alive. The discovery was made during a recent deep-sea mapping expedition. The team's mission was simple, to chart what was thought to be an ancient extinct seamount, long dormant and silent for millions of years. Instead, they stumbled upon a geological and biological revelation that has shaken the field of marine volcanology. The first clue that something was terribly wrong came from temperature readings. As the team's instruments descended through the icy waters of the Pacific, the data suddenly showed a sharp rise in heat. The water near the summit of the seamount was warm, unusually warm. That was the first undeniable sign that this volcano was still active, venting hot mineral-rich fluids from its summit. This volcano is not extinct, it is alive. The second shot came when the mapping data was compiled. What they saw was not a small bump in the seafloor. It was a vast volcanic edifice, rising 1,100 meters from the abyssal plain, a geological monument in the deep ocean its summit and flanks scarred by vent fields and lava formations. This is a living volcano, and until this moment, the scientific world had absolutely no record of it. What's worse, this new giant lies directly on the same tectonic plate boundary that powers the Cascadia subduction zone, one of the most dangerous geological regions on Earth.